Crypto kids, welcome back to another video. Today, Bitcoin has hit $39,000. And yes, we do have some breaking news from the Fed Chair Powell, but I'll get to that in just a second. But let's take a moment to celebrate Bitcoin hitting $39,000. And you know what that deserves? I think that deserves some confetti. So guys, that is actually the highest amount Bitcoin has come to in the last 570 days. So that is pretty impressive. Uh, and uh, in the last video, Bitcoin was trading around $37,000. So if we jump into the four hourly time frame, I was discussing about this inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is of course bullish. Uh, and that had a target of around $40,000. So if we just quickly measure the target of this inverse head and shoulders, we can put it above the neckline, uh, which should give us about a $40,000 target. However, of course, that is very, very bullish. So earlier on today, I did mention that it could be a good time to start taking profits off of the table on my free telegram community uh, but it's looking pretty cool now we're retracing back into the 38,600 but 39,000 a dollar bitcoin is not too bad whatsoever however we do still need to be uh, a little bit careful here so if i just uh, get rid of the inverse heading shoulders and we jump back onto the daily time frame i think bitcoin still needs to confirm this breakout on the daily candle if within the next seven hours and 13 uh, minutes we break I mean, we confirm this breakout, then it could be a good time to potentially enter into a long position. Um, and what I would personally do is if I just measure the height of this ascending wedge and put it above the final breakout zone, what we can do is we can see that there's a target of 43 thousand dollars and if we have a look at our macro chart so i think it was this one there we go uh forty three thousand two hundred dollars is massive resistance for bitcoin because we can see that bitcoin came to this level multiple times on its history we found major support we found major resistance so i think if bitcoin can come back to this level we'll find some very very good resistance on the price and that could be a potential take profit zone so yes we got to just wait for the confirmation here uh the way I would personally take this trade is I would trade the breakout again wait for the confirmation wait for this candle to close let's say close about there put my take profit to 43.2 and put my stop loss around here of course nothing in this video is financial advice this is just my own personal TA only always make sure to do your own research before trading or investing but that would give us an unleveraged trade of about 11 percent but why am I saying let's wait for the candle confirmation? Because um, it, if we look at some of our indicators, right, including the stochastic, which is one that I really, really like, and we jump onto a more macro chart like the weekly chart, we can see that the stochastic is currently very, very overbought. And if we check the previous signals of the stochastic, we can see that bearish crossovers on the stochastic led to big price drops. So we had one there. We had another bearish crossover at this point, which led to this dump. And then we had another more important bearish crossover that led to this dump there. But a bullish crossover inversely also caused this massive pump that we were having. So that's why I love the stochastic. It predicts price moves earlier on compared to other oscillators. And right now we're overbought. Look, we've not we've not had a bearish crossover yet, but that could come soon. So it's just something that I'm watching out for. And as soon as we see a bearish crossover on the stochastic, I will open a short position, which is something that I haven't been doing in a while because I don't like to short Bitcoin in uh, bullish uptrends. But if we see that bearish crossover, that could be a golden opportunity to short Bitcoin. So that's why we just got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, we're treading across some very important waters. Uh, and if we see this confirmation of the break on the rising wedge, then all should be fine. But guys, by the way, if you do want to be trading Bitcoin, you can head over to the description below because you can sign up to Bitflex. Uh, unfortunately, we ran out of the campaign. Uh, it was a very, very successful campaign. Um, and I will share the individual who won the $1,000 very soon. I think on the next video, we should have the winner selected so stay tuned for that but ladies and gents there's some very cool bonuses coming up with bitflex where you can actually let me hint you'll get you'll be able to re redeem some vouchers for some pretty cool stuff if you are a user so i'll just say that much i won't say anything else but uh, if you sign up using this link it'll literally take you 20 seconds pretty easy and uh, yeah you can start trading 
pretty uh pretty much immediately but guys that is pretty much the roundup for the bitcoin technical analysis now i want to shift into the breaking news so what happened was uh the fed chair just spoke a couple of minutes ago and uh, he suggested that uh, it's still too early to cut interest rates now that is bearish for the economy because of course um you know we were expecting major interest rate cuts this week but uh, it looks like it's still premature meaning that it's still a bit too early and of course we're still very far away from the two percent inflation target so he's basically said the same old same old uh let's see i don't think they're planning on increasing interest rates any more than what we're what we are at the moment which is very very good but cuts in interest rates may not come until next year so that is what we are looking at uh in the current situation but guys that is pretty much it for today's video i don't want to hold you on for any longer uh the halving is coming up very very soon so at cryptokit.com in the halving countdown we can see that there's about 132 days approximately this changes we can't ever uh you know guarantee when it's going to happen but in around 130 days the halving will most likely come for bitcoin and we can see that on our macro chart uh bitcoin is still within the parabola so the parabola suggests that uh, bitcoin is going to keep on rising and my target for the bitcoin bull market is between 90 to 95 thousand dollars so ladies and gents that is pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching make sure to destroy the like button but guys i'm crypto kid and i'll see you all in the next video very soon so guys take care and bye-bye